Uh, glycine has uh, not been important monogenic amino acids and has been shown to be increased in acute liver failure. We have previously shown that ornithine phenylacetate, the OP treatment, attenuates ammonia rice and intracranial pressure in pigs suffering from acute liver failure. The proposed mechanism for this is to increase the provision of um, glutamate by increasing glutamine production, capturing ammonia through the glutamine synthetase reaction, and binding glutamine to phenylacetate and remove it to urine as the phenylacetate glutamine, thereby preventing the possible um, rebound hyperaminemia due to contaminates. However, our study and also other studies on OP and liver failure have not been able to demonstrate a positive stochometric correlation between the plasma ammonia levels and exclusion of the proposed uh, conjugation product, financial glutamine, in urine. This led us to investigate whether other potential conjugation pathways could be involved in this model. Therefore, the aim for this was to investigate the, OP and the impact sorry, of the OP treatment on the phenylacetate glycine pathway as an alternative and additional ammonia loading pathway. This was done in an eight hour porcine model of acute liver failure, uh, porticable osmosis followed by hepatic artery ligation, which encapsulates main features of human acute liver failure. The pigs were randomized into three groups sham, acute liver failure, placebo-treated animals, and acute liver failure, OP-treated animals. And we collected blood samples, urine samples, and tissue samples. This is a graph showing arterioglycine levels from time zero to time eight in sham, acute liver failure, placebo group, and acute liver failure OP group. We could not find any significant changes over the eight hours in the sham group. However, in the acute liver failure group, we found a significant increase in arteriolysine levels, and this was significantly attenuated in the OP treated animals. We also found a positive correlation between the arteriolysine levels and the arteriolysine <coughs> levels in this model. This is a graph showing uh, tissue levels of glycine from frontal lobe at time eight. Uh, we see a significant, or we found a significant increase in glycine levels in the acute liver failure animals compared to sham. And furthermore, we found a significant attenuation in the glycine levels in the OP2 animals compared to acute liver failure placebo animals. We then looked into the venous arterial differences for glycine across different organs, the kidneys, pulmonary, viscera, hind leg. However, we can only find significant changes across the kidneys. And here's a graph showing venous arterial differences for glycine across the kidney at time zero and time eight. Uh, we found an increase in the net glycine uh, release in the ALF animals that was significantly attenuated to no net release or uptake across the kidneys in the OP treated animals. Furthermore, we found in urine, time zero, time eight, conjugation product phenylacetylglycine <coughs> was significantly higher in the OP treated animals compared to ALF and sham. Our findings demonstrate an important role of glycine removal in the attenuation of hyperaminemia <coughs> following the OP treatments in this acute liver failure model. And we believe that kidney is primarily responsible for both the generation of the increased glycine and conjugation to phenylacetate glycine. Removing glycine is believed to stimulate ammonia removal through incorporation of glutamate in the normal synthesis of glycine compensate and replenish glycine stores. And to look at the mechanism, so again, um, ornithine increases provision of glutamate. Glutamate can be used for glu as a substrate for glutamine 
synthesis, thereby removing ammonia in, in the glutamine synthetase step. However, we believe that glutamine is also important in production of glycine via serine, and that glutamate dehydrogenase reaction is a potential removal of ammonia in this moment. Glutamine and glycine can both conjugate the phenyl acetates, producing phenylacetate glutamine and phenylacetate glycine. And in this model, phenylacetate glycine seems to be a far the more important conjugation product found in urine. And we believe that this provides a mechanistic explanation for the removal of ammonia in this model of acute liver failure. To conclude, data from this study provides first evidence for the existence of a novel pathway for ammonia removal in acute liver failure that involves glycine production and removal, and it's targeted by the one thing translate treatments. I would like to thank my uh, supervisors and mentors, Professor Utrebe, Professor Christopher Rose, and of course, Professor Dallan, the inventor of the OP treatment, and also Professor Arthur Erdhoeg and the staff at the uh, Surgical Research Lab at the University Hospital at Thank you for your time.